Hello everyone and welcome back to the journey as we are really closing down on the season finale. Just six rounds left to go in the 2011 season as we head to Singapore for round 14. Of course a race that we had pole position in last year. We didn't quite get the victory. Maybe we can turn that one around this year as we do have pole position once again. Sebastian fell alongside in that front row of the grid. Just four hundredths of a second separating the top three. Mark Webber championship leader down in fourth position. Uh, Lewis Hamilton who were fighting uh, for uh, quite closely for second of the championship obviously starts a little bit further further down. Uh, our teammate Vitaly Petrov starts from ninth position. Schumacher just inside the top 10. Uh, outside of this, as always, no major dramas, no major shocks. It is what it is when it comes to this. It's just the AI and what they do uh, as we get ready for the Singapore Grand Prix. So we are on pole position, which is obviously a very good sign. Uh, not by a big margin. It was uh, quite a tight in quality. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can go and grab this victory. But I don't think it's going to be an easy one. There's going to be a lot of work, a lot of defending, a lot of strategy in here. Instantly look to the inside from Vettel there, which is expected. Oh my god, what's happened to them? Oh, they've had an absolute mare through T1. We'll use this time to look after our tyres a little bit then and get up to speed in the race without any uh, major kerfuffles. Weber's obviously up to third place. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? Well, I say this is a long one. 18 laps around here. Relatively speaking, it's quite long. We can look after the car, look after the tyres. Oops, bit of a lock up there. Well, first lap down, and we've got a big lead. I don't know why they're struggling so much. Oh, I say that. They did just close in a little bit in that final sector. It was 3.3, and it's now down to 2.8. Whoa, and it's going to be down even further than that when you do that. Ha, 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 ha. 10 out of 10. Whoops, nearly Lance strolled it. Ha, 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 ha. It's going to be a much quicker lap from those behind. But that's okay. I'd say much quicker. It's half a second faster, and we lost a lot in the first sector, so... Do you know what? I'll take that. We're just building our way back into it slowly. Again, we're, we're making sure that we're looking after our tyres so that we've got them for uh, they'll be a little bit later on the stint if we need them or... So I don't crash, to be honest. Which is the main part. Oh, Petrov has dropped down the order as well. He had a good couple of races. Yeah, I think he's outside of the top ten, based on that. What I can see on the minimap, anyway. Nice turning, mate. Just don't, I didn't want that apex, nor that one. No, I don't. I, do you know what? I don't want to go anywhere near the apex, is it? <laughs> Goodness me, Lewis. Or that one. Three in a row. Completely missed. Zero out of ten driving. There's one. Well, sort of. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at driving. <laughs> I think we're pitting next lap. It's a two stop race, flat out. Um, I'm already starting to like feel some of the tyre wear and stuff, so we're not going to mess about with it and try and overdo it like what we did in Nurburg Ring and things like that. But I still have this feeling. Like, I I do think we can win the World Championship. I know it's a large gap. Was it 52 points, whatever it is, to Weber, something like that? Maybe we just need to get a little bit lucky, but. Even when we're getting lucky, we need to be on it. I think they're back, they're back within DRS range now, but again, I'm not, not concerned. Because we've kind of been underdriving it quite a bit this stint. I've been looking after fuel as well. This corner is so much worse with that curb where it is here. It's so much better when you run out towards the wall. I cannot remember which year it is where that changes. I think it's 13. Oh my god, Weber's dropped back. What's happened to Weber? Weber is is not he's he's not in third. Has he crashed? And there's no Red Bull is it, did, I, did I go past the Red Bull? What has happened? Oh my god. I have just checked. Weber is out of this race. Out of it. No longer in it. Nil poids. Zero points. Wow. This could be a 
huge moment in this championship. Crazy. Well, now we really, 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 really need to win this race. To be honest, I think we're going to have a big gap to battle. I think the undercut's big round here. Also, I think this has actually been quite a good lap as well. Fuck <laughs> sake. <laughs> Why did I talk? Completely missed the apex. Oh my god, we've got a huge lead. What has happened? Why have they had such a slow... I guess it's maybe tire wear, I don't know. What is going on? This is a ridiculous race. Boring? Granted. <laughs> well, I mean, we can't make a mistake. So there is still that. Because obviously this is a circuit which bites. Of course, Hamilton will be determined to beat us. Because uh, obviously we're second in the championship at the moment. And he's not that far behind. Not really. I mean, he's closer to us than we are to Weber. Okay, better lap. Into the 39s. Hamilton's still fast than us by about half a second. Don't think it'll be a fast lap of the race from him. I'd quite like to know what position Petrov's in. Got absolutely no idea. We're not pitting this lap. We're going to pit next lap. We've got the tyres. We just stick to the game plan. No risks, no frills, no nothing. From here on out... Nice, boring race is what we're aiming for. That's it. We are definitely going to get some form of drama because we are closing in rapidly on the uh, the back markers. And into the pit lane for the second time. Okay, no stress. Hamilton's coming in as well, but Hamilton's coming in for options, interestingly enough. Eight laps on those? That's crazy talk. Surely that's that's crazy. You're just never going to have the grip on those. Okay, you've got a few positions to overtake here as well. Careful not to drive into any of the barriers. Got a few cars we may need to navigate, but they may be far enough ahead where we don't need to. Cold tyres! <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I can see uh, Petrov is just behind Adeshwari. Whatever that means for them position-wise, I don't know. But, uh... We'll see. We'll see once. We'll see post pit stops where everyone's running. Oh, hilariously, this is the first the first laps that I've done on these tyres. Because <laughs> we didn't go out and practice or anything like that. And then qualifying, obviously, it was just uh, option options. Okay, Petrov's coming to the pit lane. Aldrichwari didn't, nor did uh, in any of the three ahead. I would like to go and grab the fast lap of the race. I'm just not sure we really can on these tyres. Like with how I'm driving. So I'm trying to starting to figure this car out a little bit. We may actually have something on this lap. We just absolutely decimated the gap to our I don't know what's happened. Oh, fast as that. There you go. It was a chance. Oh, my God. Wait, are these in position? No. Traffic ahead. Stay alert. Hey, Key, don't you dare. Oh, go away. We don't need to clear Kobayashi, but it would, just would be good. There's a Glock. Is that Glock? Oh my god, it is Glock. Just get on with it, son. I'm surprised I didn't break my front wing there when I hit Kobe Ash on the back of Glock. Front wing damage. Oh, not from us, from someone else. Okay, Kobe Ash is coming in. No fun for us. Well, Masters in as well. Rosberg staying out, I think. I wonder what the gap back is to Hamilton. It was, it was about six seconds pre-pit stop, wasn't it? Oh, it's huge. It's like well over 10 seconds. 14 seconds. Oh, my God. So, Rosberg's going to pit this lap. Even if he doesn't, we are definitely catching fast enough. And there he is in the pit lane. Oh, God, he's driven the barrier. And back up to the race lead we go. It is not an interesting race. This is definitely the Sunday afternoon and nap Grand Prix. That's fine. To be fair, most of our races have been pretty interesting. So, 
We've not had a few stinkers, so we'll take it. Especially all things considered on the championship side of things. And now we're apparently going for fast slap. Because why not? I don't think... Well, we'll hold it, even if we get it. Because there's quite a lot of... The, those that like Rosberg and that. They're on options right now. So they should be going... A fair amount quicker. Pretty good lap time, though. NGL. That is going to take some beating. Oh my god, we need 20 seconds clear. We could literally stop again and go on options. We're not going to, because again, we said, boring race. No risk, no nothing. So I have just checked. Uh, Petrov is running in uh, eighth position. So, you know, another, another four points. He started scoring fairly consistently, although I can see on the minimap he is under a fair amount of pressure. But Alonso's dropped back. I don't know if that's like anything major or if that's just Rosberg. Oh, I think he might have retired. He was right on the back of Hamilton. Oh, I think they've had a contact because it's 23.2 seconds. Oh, he's dropped back to four. It's fine, never mind. But maybe they have had contact because like, I'm driving slow. It was 19 seconds last time between Hamilton and Alonso. I guess they might have had some issues coming through traffic, to be fair. Had I realised the gap was that large coming across the line or whatever, I might have actually stopped and gone to some options for the final lap because these are not feeling great. I won't lie. One more lap for our fourth win of the season and the first time we'll go back to back. All, uh, all six of the wins previous have been separated. Wow, okay, yeah, tyres are, tyres are toast. <laughs> so good job we didn't try and, like, go crazy and, uh, and try that one stop. Yeah, for a driver at my level, anyway. And my complete lack of control on the right foot. Here we go, then, final corner. Let's just, oh, let's Lance Stroll it. <laughs> Goodness me. Still, easy W. Didn't get the fast lap, though. Here's what it is. But we did dominate the race. That is the important bit. 20 seconds clear uh, of Lewis Hamilton. We were flying. So pole position to a race win conversion for uh, yet another one. Our seventh total in Formula 1. Hamilton Rosberg. Shout out uh, to Kobe Ashley and Aldous uh, Sixth and seventh position respectively. Mega drives from the pair of those. Paul DeResta just outside uh, the points paying positions in the Force India Mercedes that of course we were in uh, last year. But the big drama really was about those retirements. Let's take a look at those. Sebastian Vettel, Mark Webber, Jensen Button, Pastor Mount Leonardo. Mark Webber's the really big one in there. Uh, of course, championship leader by 52 points coming into this. With our victory, that means the gap has come down to 27 points. Yes, sure, it's more than a race win, but we're starting to really apply that pressure. And with only uh, a handful of rounds to go, maybe we're on the on the charge. Maybe we're on the hunt down to go and catch up that, uh, that, that championship lead. Obviously, next time we're at Suzuka for the Japanese Grand Prix. A second I actually quite like. You know, one with some maybe mixed conditions. Who really knows? Maybe we can keep this streak alive and win again.